Hi, I'm Rona Zida and I'm excited to share with you how animation is revolutionizing legal education. In this two minutes documentary, we'll explore how animation can enhance the learning experience for law students. Animation enhances legal education in three key areas visual representation, engagement and retention, and practical application with real world scenarios. As law schools continue to innovate, the use of animation in legal education is proving to be a valuable tool in preparing the next generation of lawyers for the demise of modern legal practice. The traditional chalk and top method has long been a staple in education, but times are changing. Animation allows presenting material in a way that is visually appealing and easier to understand. It keeps students engaged and enhances their learning experience. Using animation in teaching allows us to break down complicated legal theories into digestible visuals, making it easier for students to grasp and retain the material. As education evolves, animated presentations are proving to be a powerful tool in modernizing the learning experience. Embracing animation in legal education not only modernizes teaching methods but also significantly enhances student engagement and understanding, preparing future lawyers for the complexities of the legal world. That's all from me. I hope you enjoy this documentary. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Runa Zida and today I am going to explain about uh, the challenges in implementing animation in law schools. While talking about the challenges, we will also look at the possible solutions that can be suggested to overcome these challenges. One thing that I learned from Prozac's class is when you point out the challenges, you must also have the solution for it. My presentation here is based on my experience as a law lecturer in UITM Faculty of Law some years ago. The first issue. I guess this is an issue for everyone, not just law schools. Animation production requires specialized software which can be expensive and skill animators whose services will only add to the cost. The possible solution? The law school administration can reach out to local animation studios and educational technology companies to explore potential partnerships. What they can promise in return is visibility and marketing benefits. There you go. Quid pro quo. The administration can reach out to local companies like Les Compact Production to produce Upin Ipin. Well, just a suggestion. The second issue is curriculum integration. Existing courses are designed around traditional teaching methods and incorporating animations will require substantial changes to course structures, lesson plans, and assessment methods. This prospect of a significant curriculum redesign is daunting, especially when all Malaysian university is tied to the MQA regulations, which I can understand. So possible solution, we can introduce pilot programs for the basic courses like contract law, criminal law, and constitutional law. From this pilot program, we can also see what works and what don't before we implement it to the whole program after collecting feedback from both students and faculty. So that's all from me. I hope you enjoy my explanation and feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you.